This afternoon we're at the Latham Eye Conservation Park with Mike Barth, who's the project officer for the Glossy Black Cockatoo Recovery Project. And this habitat behind us is the habitat of this endemic subspecies of Glossy Black Cockatoo here on Kangaroo. Kangaroo Island, separated from the mainland of Australia as recently as eight to 10,000 years ago, the wildlife and bird life here have evolved not into separate species, but into separate distinct subspecies of animals. These glossy blacks are a separate subspecies from the mainland species, and they've been isolated from the East Coast birds for a long time, and they've actually gone extinct on the mainland in South Australia, and they're isolated to Kangaroo Island. and she-oak forests do not only hold glossy black cockatoos but a whole multitude of other species of parrots. There are galahs here, there are closely related yellow-tailed black cockatoos here as well and we've also seen the beautiful and spectacular crimson rosellas feeding on these same cones from the cassowina tree. These birds interfere and compete with the glossy black cockatoos. There are organizations such as the Department for Environment and Heritage that aim to decrease the little Corella population on Kangaroo Island. This is so that the amount of competition between the glossy black cockatoo and the little Corellas decrease. There is a need for more research about how the glossy black cockatoo population changes over time. This research will help to understand what other support could be provided to remove threats facing the species. of the species. This is achieved by putting in effect a re-establishment plan on Kangaroo Island. During 1993, the recovery program fund allowed for the re-establishment of 90 hectares of feeding and nesting habitat for the glossy black cockatoo. An alternative way for re-establishment of habitat is to plant new drooping shiok trees cockatoos depend for food and shelter. This strategy is implemented by distinctly marking areas and location that need plantation. So we've had spectacular and awesome views of glossy black cockatoos further down, but now we've come up to the eucalyptus forest here to go and see these glossy black cockatoos at their nesting holes. These are artificial holes that have been set up to ensure the success of this spectacular bird. Right here, is a breeding tree of a glossy black cockatoo and you can see that it's surrounded by this corrugated iron and this is to stop the brush-tailed possums from getting up and destroying the eggs and eating the nestlings. There's a definite shortage of nest hollows on the island so uh, we've installed approximately 90 artificial hollows across the island and now uh, almost half of the nests every year are in artificial hollows. There's been a steady increase in the population over the last 15 years, and yeah, they're, they're, they're coming back strong. This tree is just there. Yes, that's our golden bird, glossy black cockatoo. 